Okay, hello. So my job today is to pick out some products for a face of makeup. Uh, that's my list there. Okay, so let's begin. The first thing on our list is primer. So that says primer on it, but it says eyeshadow primer. So I don't think that's quite what we're looking for. Let's try another draw, maybe. Oh, that looks boring. That looks like it could be our draw. Primer could be somewhere in here. Let's have a look. That says face primer on it. Can you guys uh, leave some comments below whether this is primer or not? And if it is, then I'll choose it. Nope. Okay. So she only has one primer, apparently. And it's this one, which is the... Too Faced Hangover one, I think. So that's my primer. So next on my list is foundation, and I think it's in the same drawer. It's all these boring looking ones. Um, I think I'm only going to choose ones that actually say the name of the product on them. This doesn't actually have foundation written on it. This has Longwear and Comfort Satin Light Creator written on it, which uh, I don't know if you were paying attention there, but foundation was not one of the words used in that sentence. So we'll use the Tarte Shape Tape. That's really, really heavy. Next on the list is Concealer. Mmm! Perfect. Alright, I found this. In the restricted section, I have selected this, which is the Maybelline Master Fix Powder. Next on the list is Brows. So let's, um, let's browse for some products. <laughs> Well, it doesn't have anything written on it, so I definitely can't choose that. Whatever that is. Shadow insurance. Cool. Oh, that's a book. I don't want to read a book. I am talking to you now from the mirror of the Tartlet Toasted Palette. That's nice. I wonder what palette this is. I've never, I've never heard of this name before. Do you guys know this name? Ha Hank? Hankso? Hankso. I quite like the look of this Lorac one. And with these bottom colours. They're quite nice. I think this is going to be my choice for palette. Okay, I have to choose a mascara now. For a mascaras. Uh, that's quite nice. Because the packaging is really understated. Quite like that. Uh, eye primer and eyeshadow. Well, I already did those. That's good. Mascara. Is there anything else other than... Can you see that? Bronzer. What does a bronzer look like? Alrighty. Is a bronzer? This is a bronzer, so I guess all the bronzers are here. These are, these are our bronzers. I'm going to choose that one just because it makes a really, really fun sound. Next is blush. I think these are all blushes. Are you a blush? You're a skin finish. What the fuck is that? Okay, this is, these are my blushes here. We don't say blush on the front. You say blush on the front, that's cool. Can I open this? That's a nice colour. You're a shimmer brick. See, but you're not called a blush, so you can... Holy shit, you can go away as well. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one. Highlight. I imagine this is the highlight drawer. Does it say highlight on it? This is the only highlighter that she owns. Because it's the only one that actually says highlight on the package. And lastly is lipstick. Here we go, we have made it to the lipstick drawer. Here are my colours. Let's just try a few. I don't think I'm going to go with a, a feature lipstick colour like that. Because I think the eyeshadow will be the feature on this look. Um, so let's try and find a, an understated one somewhere. Yeah. Like that. That's perfect. This is the clinic way. Here we go. That's the colour of the lipstick I've chosen. And that's cool. This is me. This is the box of stuff that I have selected. I think that's everything in here. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten products on my list here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve things. Um <laughs> Oh hey. Hey. So I picked the makeup. 
Yes. And now you're not allowed to look in your makeup drawers <laughs> or the box for a whole day. <laughs> it's going to be really tricky. Yep. And there was one product that you didn't want me to pick. What was it? <laughs> it's the Natio foundation. No Because I know, I know that it's completely the wrong color for me. Good. Oh no, 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 no. Hey guys, so you will have seen Jonathan pick out my makeup, so I have no idea what's in the box at the moment. I'm about to find out. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, I have the Too Faced Hangover Primer. This one was fairly obvious. This is the only primer that I have, so that's cool. The Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. The Colourpop Concealer, which actually I'm quite excited to use this because I haven't used it in a while. The Maybelline Master Fix Loose Setting Powder. Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. This is probably my favourite eyeshadow primer, so I'm happy about that. The Lorac Pro Eyeshadow Palette. Love this. And this actually has a brow shade in it, so that is perfect. And then we have the Maybelline Brow Drama to set that with. Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Tarte Blush in Exposed. Exo Beauty Highlighter in Aurora and the Clinique Matte Pop Lipstick in Blushing Pop. I love so many of these products. I would say the only product in here that I'm not really happy about is the foundation, but I can make it work. And you know what? Everything is going to go together because it's a nude lipstick, it's a natural blush, so I can just pick an eyeshadow that works. Pretty much any eyeshadow I want. So, let's get started. So, starting off, of course, with the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I was worried Jonathan wasn't going to be able to find this because I only have the one primer. So he did a good job. I mean, really, he's done a really good job with all of these products. I'm very impressed. Then we have the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. This looks fine to begin with, it just goes dry after a few hours, that's the only reason it's not my favourite. I was trying to guess what products Jonathan would have picked and I actually thought that he would pick this foundation because it's one that he knows. Because I did that review video on it fairly recently and I was like chatting to him about it. So I had a feeling this was going to be the one. Alright, next up we have the Colourpop No Filter Concealer. And then to set that all down we have the Maybelline Master Fix Loose Setting Powder. So this is the only powder that Jonathan picked for me and I have to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of it all over the face but we'll see how we go. Yeah that powder is really quite drying all over the face and especially with the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation which is drying anyway, uh, it's not the best combination. It looks alright at the moment, I just look very matte, but I know that in a couple of hours my face is going to look super dry. Anyway, moving on, next up we have the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eyeshadow Primer. Like I said, I'm very happy with this one. And then, as always, I'll do my brows next to give that a bit of a chance to set. So, going into the Lorac Pro Palette, I'm going to be taking the shade Espresso. And then we have the Maybelline Brow Drama to set that down. Okay, so for eyeshadow, Jonathan has specified he wants me to use one of the shades from the bottom row to put like on my eyelids as the feature of the look. So I'm not going to be super boring and do like nude or champagne because we can do better than that. I used Garnet a couple of weeks ago and it wasn't, it wasn't the shade that it looks. It was like so washed out and it was like a brown rather than a copper. So I think we'll probably go with the purple today. But anyway, we're going to start off with cream to set the eyeshadow primer. I'm going to go in with mauve and just pop that in the crease. Let's just do it. I'm going to take deep purple and pop that on the lid. I don't think I've ever used deep purple. Maybe once. I can't remember though. I mean, it doesn't even look purple once you put it on the lid. And it's not shimmery anymore either. It just kind of looks boring. Have I just given myself black eyes? Maybe I shouldn't have done this. I'm going to take a bit of sable and just use that to try and blend the purple out. What have I done? Where has the purple gone? Like, actually, it's so dull. I need to clean that up with concealer. I'm just going to use a little bit of champagne just in the middle of my eyes to bring a bit of a life back to them. See, now it looks like a galaxy. That's kind of cool. 
I'm gonna use cream to highlight my brow bone and nude to highlight my inner corner. You didn't pick me a mascara. Yes, I did. I picked the brow drama one. So, I've just realized that Jonathan has not picked me a mascara. I, I did pick the brow, the brow drama. Wasn't it? It was with the other mascaras. <laughs> what is it? It says brows on it, babe. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it says brow mascara. <laughs> oh. So what do I do? Alright, so we are using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I chose that one because you can turn it into a castanet. Oh, don't break it. <laughs> the, the packaging of this is already broken, actually. Like, it doesn't clip closed anymore. Next, we have the Tarte Exposed Blush, which I love. And is going to go nicely with this eyeshadow look. Not that I've executed it that well, but... The colours go together. Then we have the EXO Beauty Highlighter in Aurora. I don't know if you can tell, I've been using this quite a lot recently and you can kind of tell. Always feels good when you can see the use in a product. And lastly we have the Clinique Matte Pop Lipstick in the shade Blushing Pop which is one of my favourite lipsticks. And that is the finished look without mascara. Would you like to now pick me a mascara to use? <laughs> So he's chosen the Clinique High Impact Mini Mascara, which hopefully hasn't dried out because I haven't used this in a couple of months. Ah, now we're all right. So I do have other mascaras that I prefer now that I've kind of discovered some new mascaras, but this one I still really like. And this is the finished makeup look with mascara. What do you think? I, I like, so I like the lipstick color. Yeah. Everything is very well concealed. Looks like everything's got a good foundation. Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> so what I think you did really well is that you picked like a neutral lipstick and a neutral blush, mm -hmm. which meant that it didn't really matter what kind of eyeshadow I did, it was going to work. This was a pretty good selection. Good. The eyeshadow primer was a good choice as well, because I have a couple that are not my faves, and that one is my fave. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Goodbye. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully it gave you a little bit of a laugh. If you are new here, I would love it if you'd subscribe. I upload a new video every single week and I will see you again next time. Bye. Okay, hello and welcome to this face reveal. My name is Bonbons and it's been me the whole time. Subscribe.